Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help us out over here. And it also helps us read others in need of assistance with these topics. So speaking of topics, what we're going to go over here is static equilibrium and we're going to be finding reactions for the object shown. So what we have here is we have a fixed crane that has a mass of a thousand kilograms and is used to lift a 2,400 kilogram crate. It is held in place by a pin at A and a rocker at B. The center of gravity of the crane is located at G and we need to determine the components of the reactions at A and B. So what you're gonna do with all reaction problems is you're going to assume directions for your reaction. So with a pin, we are going to have an AX and we are going to have an AY reaction that happened right here at point A. A rocker is just another type of roller. It's not really technically a roller, but it will allow for motion in the vertical direction, and it will always allow for motion along the surface it's sitting at. It will not allow for any type of motion perpendicular to the surface, in this case, in the x direction. There will be a reaction in that x direction. So next what we have to do is since we are in kg, we need to be in kilonewtons for our forces so we can find the reaction. So point g is where we have the center of gravity, which is where our mass is. So this will be a thousand kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared which gives me 9.81 kilonewtons. And then my weight up here, we're just gonna multiply by the same 9.81 meters per second squared. And that gives me a total of 23.54 kilonewtons after I divide that by a thousand. And of course, after I divide this by a thousand as well. Alrighty. So in order to determine your reactions, you have to use your equilibrium equations. That's why reactions are sometimes stated as equilibrium, equal, equilibrium problems, because you have to use your equilibrium equations of summing forces in your x equal to zero, summing forces in the y direction equal to zero, and summing moments about a point equal to zero. In most problems, you will have to use all three of these equilibrium equations to solve for all the reactions. Just depends on which ones you wanna do first. Now, typically for reaction problems that involve two reactions, such as a roller and a pin, you would want to use your moment first. So let's go ahead and use our moment equation first. So I'm going to take counterclockwise rotation as positive and I'm going to sum moments about point B. Typically, when using rea or solving reaction problems and using your moment equation, you want to sum moments at one of the reaction points because that is where one of your unknowns pass through. So it will drop out of the equation at that point, and then you're left with the other reaction as the unknown. Typically, sometimes one reaction point will be easier to sum moments about than the other, Sometimes it just doesn't really matter. You can pick either one. So in this case, I'm just picking point B. So AY is technically right here and it passes right through point B. It has no perpendicular distance to point B. So it'd be times zero. So I'm not going to include it. A sub X does have a perpendicular distance and it is 1.5 meters. The way I have it assumed, it will be flying or rotating clockwise about point B. So it'd be minus A sub X times 1.5 meters. And then I just have my mass and then my weight. Well, both of these will be rotating clockwise about point B. So let's take our mass first, which is minus 9.81. Oh, come on, switch over. There we go. 9.81 kilonewtons of force times the distance to get it over to B, which is two meters and then minus off the 23.54 kilonewtons of force times the total distance to get it over to B, which is six meters. And that is my moment equation. So as you can see in this moment equation, the only unknown that I have is A sub X. 
So we can just rearrange and solve for a sub x. Well, a sub x is going to be minus 19.62, minus 141.24, all divided by 1.5. The 9.1 times 2 gives me 19.62, and the 23.54 times 6 gives me the minus 141.24. If I take a sub x to the other side, it becomes positive, then divide by the 1.5. Oh, all right. right. So this pops out to be minus 107.24 kilonewtons of force. And I have it assumed to the right. Anytime you pop out a minus answer for your reactions, one of two possibilities has happened. One, you screwed up somewhere. But more than likely, it's possibility number two is that you just assume the wrong direction for your arrow. It's the correct value, just the wrong direction. So whenever this happens, you pop out a minus sign for your reaction, just drop the minus sign and flip your arrow. So we originally assumed it to the right. Well, the minus sign tells us it's in the opposite direction. So it's actually going to the left. Happens a lot, not a big deal. Whenever you pop out that minus sign, drop the minus sign and flip your assumed arrow direction. So A sub X is 107.24 kilonewtons to the left. All right, so I've used my moment equation and I found one of my reactions. Now I'm gonna use the other two to find the remainders. So let's go to summing forces in the X direction equal to zero. Pretty simplistic equation here. We only have two forces in our X direction. We have a sub x, which now is going to the left, and we have a value for it of 107.24, and b sub x is the only other um, force in the horizontal direction. So what we have here is that we have b sub x to the right, so it's positive, minus the 107.24 because it is acting left, equal to zero. Well, b sub x has to be equal to a sub x in value, just in the opposite direction of a sub x, which is to the right. Okay, I want to be a positive number, so I know my assumed arrow direction was correct. It is to the right. All right, so now we have the fy down, and we just have one more to go, or the fx, sorry, we did the fx, not the fy. Now we have the fy to go. So the fy will take up as positive, And we really only have three forces here. We have the AY reaction, our center of mass here, and then our weight here at the end. So we have A sub Y assumed upward, minus off the 9.81 kilonewtons of force, and then minus off our weight at the very end of 23.54 kilonewtons of force equal to zero. So A sub Y is just gonna be the total of those two. And tallying up 9.81 plus 23.54, that gives me 33.35 kilonewtons of force. Came out to be a positive answer. So I know my assumed arrow direction of up is the correct one. So there are my three reactions and all of my reactions for this particular problem. Um, there is always a way to check your reaction answers for every single reaction problem. And the way to do that is just summing moments at the other reaction point that you did not do at the beginning. So in the beginning, we summed moments at point B. Well, let's go ahead and let's sum moments at point A. Summing moments at point A using our reactions that we found should be, everything should be equaling to zero for equilibrium to hold. So doing a quick check here, summing moments about point A equal to zero. Well, what we're going to have here is the B sub X. Oh, let's just scroll back up here. We're going to have our B sub X times the 1.5. And then our weights and our mass weights are all going to be exactly the same distances as this original um, the uh, moment equation because the distances are still the same between A and B in the horizontal direction. So this one's kind of a quick check because B and A are exactly the same. So what we have here is 107.24 for B times the 1.5. It is rotating 
uh, counterclockwise, so it's positive. And then the remaining two are rotating clockwise, so they are negative based upon my sign convention. And here they are written out. And of course, these all pop out to be exactly zero in my moment equation about point A. So I know that my reactions are correct. So it's always a good way to check your reactions um, just to make sure that you are correct. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you want to see more problems solved with this variety with reactions, uh, please check out other videos on our channels we're trying to upload daily. Also, if you haven't done so already, please uh, make sure that you leave a like for this video, leave a positive comment below, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.